we are surrounded by many unknown varieties of plants and animals although many of them are very useful but some of them are toxic and can even cause the death of an individual one such example of a poisonous and toxic species is mushroom although it is quite deadly but now we have find a new remedy for it well keep watching gateway to knowledge to know which tests can be performed to detect the toxic and poisonous mushroom eating toxic mushroom causes more than 100 deaths a year globally and leaves thousand of people in need of urgent medical assistance amanitin is the class of mushroom toxins that causes the most serious issues but the new test can identify the presence of as little as 10 parts per billion of amanitin in about 10 minutes from a rice grain size sample of a mushroom or in the urine of someone who has eaten a poisonous amanitin containing mushroom this test also works with dog's urine as dogs are known to indiscriminately eat mushrooms The test was primarily developed for mushrooms as food products but it is also sensitive to detect the toxin in urine. Previously there is no clinical diagnostic test available for amatoxin poisoning but now the early detection of amanitin in a patient's urine would help the doctor to make a diagnosis and it can give a great hope to the patients for a better chance of recovery even though there are no clearly effective and specific treatments available right now the test can also be a practical and definite way for mushroom foragers to identify and avoid eating mushrooms with amanitin toxin if a commercial partner can be found to produce and market a test kit This test is the most sensitive and reliable field method available to chemically identify amanitin containing mushrooms. Although mushroom experts can identify deadly mushrooms just by looking at their appearance, experts cannot see the toxin chemicals that lurk inside. But still this test only identify the presence or absence of the specific class of toxin. It does not detect other compounds such as hallucinogens or toxins that causes other gastrointestinal or neurological symptoms so it cannot determine if a mushroom is edible or not so to distinguish toxic from non toxic mushroom species is based on first correctly identify the mushroom and then reference a mushroom field guide to determine if it is known to contain toxins or not but mushrooms of the same species can differ in appearance especially at different life stages and habitats making them very difficult to identify and do you know what that there are many poisonous mushrooms which closely resemble edible wild mushrooms for example the springtime amanita is a highly desirable edible wild mushroom in the pacific coastal united states but to an untrained eye it can appear similar to the death cap mushroom which is a poisonous mushroom and causes 90% of death in europe but now you may be wondering that what exactly this test is this new test is an immuno assay and it depends on a very specifically reactive monoclonal antibodies that detects and binds only with a specific target so now you don't have to worry if you love to eat mushrooms because it can easily be diagnosed so if you enjoyed my today's video then do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about my latest videos